Windsor, Ontario, Canada, it's Remotely Zach with Zachary Thomas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Zachary Thomas. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show. I am your host, everybody's favorite, Zachary Thomas. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we got a great show for you tonight. I mean, we got your favorite segment, Memed as well as some new segments called Ask Zach Anything and Let's Make a Headline, where I will make a headline out of the dumbest videos. But y'all know what time it is. Do you? Do you? Do you know? Y'all know what time it is, right? It is time. Ow. It's time for the monologue, in time, which I will talk about the biggest news stories from this previous week. Well, the biggest one I can tell you right now is the Biden-Putin meeting. That's right, Biden really Putin it to Putin. I'll stop now. U.S. President Joe Biden went head to head with the Russian president in Geneva, in Geneva, Switzerland, yeah. Yeah, in Switzerland. But the best moment of the summit came during the press conferences where ABC News reporter Rachel Scott took on Russian dictator Vladimir Putin. So take a look. The list of your political opponents who are dead, prisoned, or jailed is long. Alexei Navalny's organization calls for free and fair elections, an end to corruption. But Russia has outlawed that organization, calling it extremists. And you have now prevented anyone who supports him to run for office. So my question is, Mr. President, what are you so afraid of? She will be missed. CNN reporter Caitlin Collins even got into some heat from Biden, making it clear he is not taking any kind of her malarkey. Why are you so confident he'll change his behavior, Mr. President? Yeah, I'm not confident he'll change his behavior. What the hell? What do you do all the time? So when did I say I was confident? I said, said, in the next six I said what I said was, let's get it straight. I said what will change their behavior is that the rest of the world reacts to them and it diminishes their standing in the world. I'm not confident of anything. I'm just stating the fact. But given his past behavior has not changed, and in that press conference... Sounds like Uncle Joe wasn't having any of it. Hey, don't you talk to me like that, you little bugger. You better knock off that tomfoolery right now. Get in the back, Jack, before I give you a big old knuckle sandwich. Uncle Joe, you know. This previous week was also the G7 summit in Cornwall, England. That's right, all the leaders came together. They also posed for a socially distanced photo. Now, they look, they look like mint limited edition of the alternate Avengers. I mean, come on. Really was a stark difference than the last time, like this photo, Angela Merkel looking like she's gonna hop that table and give Trump a good old fashioned German beatdown. What would that even entail? Well, to whack him with a bratwurst. Joe Biden even met with Her Majesty the Queen, who seemed to be all smiles. Biden even paid her a compliment. Watch. She was very generous. Very. Uh, I, I don't think she'd be insulted, but you bet my mother. She reminded me of my mother. Then she got on the stage and started twerking, screaming, "Make it rain, bitches!" Oh boy. Like Mickey Mouse. The Queen sounds like Mickey Mouse. I didn't, I didn't know that. I didn't know that about her. The queen also made headlines at the cake cutting ceremony where she cut the cake with a sword. If you did not think the Queen was more badass before, look no further at that party. It was recently announced that you will not be getting a reminder that your driver's license is about to expire. So there is going to be a lot of people driving with an expired license. You can only imagine if you get pulled over. <laughs> Sir, your license is expired. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't know about that. Eh? So ladies who flash cops after getting pulled over, this is the time you can keep your tits in your shirts. And fellas, do the same. 
You wouldn't believe how many people do that, though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe that. <laughs> Moving on. Here is something that really fluffs the testicles. A Saskatchewan couple was caught having sex on someone else's lawn, because only in Saskatchewan. Oh, the audacity. It truly is going to be a hot vax summer. That's right. According to CTV North Battlefield, RCMP are investigating after a couple was interrupted in a compromising position. Police were called to the residence when June 5th, on June 15 after someone cutting the lawn located two people having sex, according to a news release. See, this is, this is how you tell this is a one-man show, because even I had to touch the teleprompter. I mean, come on. Apparently, he even told his neighbor he was going to take the hoe out to garden. Just, just didn't know it, it was that, it was the other kind. Police say the couple became upset and started throwing rocks at the complainant. No, no, no need to get testy. At least, at least it wasn't his man stick. Anywho, from lawn to park sex. This is out of Gorton, England. A woman spotted a couple in the public park, apparently buttering her crumpets. The Manchester Evening News reported that a couple have been arrested after horrified parents spotted them naked and apparently having sex in the park. Jeez, talk about live action porn. Yep, the women were speechless and co coincidentally, so is the woman they watched having sex. What is wrong with you people? That's right, COVID may be nearly over. So now you people can go out and shag in the park? Jesus. So bad for the animals. I mean, the squirrels were digging for nuts, wondering why the one was attached, why the two were attached. The woman who witnessed the bear while walking her dog wrote on Facebook, just when you think you've seen it all. Just walking the dog in Sunny Brow Park only to see a couple completely naked having sex. Only in Gorton. Hey, if that if that really tickles your if that really floats your boat, check out the couple in, Sask in Saskatchewan. Oh my! Uh, we'll be right back with more remotely Zach right after this. This is, this is wild ass news. Wild ass news. I'll tell you that right now. Everybody, welcome back. We got a great show for you tonight, so you'll want to stick around for that. Um, I actually don't know what's going on, but I know it'll be great. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, so, and I'm the host. I should know. I should know, right? Well, let me guys ask you a question. You guys read memes off the internet? Does anybody read memes off the internet? Yeah? Well, I do, and that was the inspiration for this brand new set for this set brand new segment that I like to call memed. So, without further ado, let's get memed. You know, young love, when you're young, you're in love, you just kind of like do all that public displays of affection. It's fucking annoying is what it is. Anywho, <laughs> yeah, just, just come out right out, make it sound great, and then just cut it off. Just cut it off at the end. Well, here's a meme uh, for what I like to call old love. Oh my, you haven't touched me, caressed me like that in years. Why'd you stop? Found the remote. Either, either this is old love or they're actually desperately trying to get back to young love. But, you know, love is love. Love is love. All right, don't you hate when Google messes up your search or, any, or anything messes up your search? I did not mean this when I searched for bears with glasses. Weird. That's just, that's just wild. All right, well, the G Summit was this previous week. And as you can, as you can probably tell, it got turned into a memes for one, spe for one specific part of it got memed. Aliens, if you're listening, they're ready to be beamed up now. 
They look like they look like collectible mini uh, action figures. Collectible minifigures, action figures. They all come on a pedestal. So, yep. Here's another one. Boris and Trudeau. Boris and Biden. Boris. Now that. Now, first of all, that sound. That could be a sitcom. Boris and Biden. You know, one's a neat freak and one's a. One's a uh, not neat freak. A slob, rather. No, that'd be great. I mean, but take a look at this. I don't know, Boris and Trudeau, it reminds me. That reminds me of, of something, a different photo. You know, can we pull up a different photo and see what that reminds me of side by side? That's it. That's it, that's what it reminds me of. That's what it reminds me of. Yes, yes. Yas, bitch. Um, yeah, oh well. Wait, did we get too carried away? Am I getting too am I getting too carried away? Probably. I mean I love this segment though. This is this is one of my favorites uh, to do. Read these out to y'all. So y'all. Dang a sweet home my Alabama. Oh some alone. I don't know, can I get copyrighted for that? Just that one little blurb. Just that tiny of a blurb of a song. I don't I don't know. <laughs> Ow. I hate when that happens. Just do that. All right. All right, this is me. This is this is totally me or someone you know. I'll just let this fart out easy and no one will hear it. Ass. It just can imagine as soon as you let it out. Three, two, one, lift off. No words, just actions. All right, last one, lastly. What advice would you give this horse? Run. We got a great show for you tonight, so come on back with more remotely, Zach, with, well, I don't know what we're doing, but come on back and stay with us. Stay with us, please, please. Oh, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you when we get back. Hey everybody, welcome back to today's show. As you know, I always love reading what you guys send me via email, tweets, and whatnot, which I thought it would be perfect time to introduce a new segment called Ask Zach Anything. Here we go. Alrighty, I'm going to read this first uh, tweet. This, this did actually come in the form of a tweet. Um, so this is from Lisa in Kingsville. Thank you for watching. I much appreciate it. Appreciate it all. And she says, Hi, Zach. I hope you are doing well. I am. I hope you are too. And I was wondering if the comma before, before and is called the Oxford comma, would it still be called that if the comma was before the R? Oh, like an or. I would, I have no idea. But that is actually a really good question. I, I like that. And so yeah, I don't know. Um, for the sake of this video, yes. Yeah, I'm Mulan. Could have spent, I could have spent an entire, I could have spent an entire thing on that. Could have spent an entire segment on that, on that. Tweet just itself. We got one from Dan from Chatham. Dan from Ch Dan from Chatham. Wow. Uh, howdy. 
Dear Zach, I started seeing this girl, but lately I ask if she goes if she wants to go out. She says yes, but cancels on me every time. What do I do? Dump the bitch. Dump the bitch. You got no time tell you ain't got time for that. You got ain't nobody got time for that shit, so we'll tell you right now, Dan, if that is your real name. She ain't worth and I just dropped something, but she ain't worth it. Worth, ain't worth, she ain't worth it. Let's go, dump the bitch and move on. From Paul in Amherstburg, this is our next one, which is really good. Hi Zach, who are your top three late night talk show hosts? Top three favorite late night talk show, talk show hosts, uh, Stephen Colbert, Jimmy Kimmel, and Bill Maher. All very good, they're all very good. I, I love all of them, I love all of them. From Amy in Windsor. Hi, Amy, thank you for watching. Zach, is Betty White immortal? Yes. Yes, she is. She's, she's gonna outlive us all. She, see, she's gonna live so long that when the whole entire human race is gone, she will be the queen of the new race. Think about that. Think about that. Gotta, gotta think about that. From Haley in Detroit. Hi, Zach. Can you tell me if Canadians use moose as public transportation? Yeah, and we also exit our igloos to go to work. Ridiculous. Actually, I can tell you for a fact they do use moose for transportation in Saskatoon. I, I know, I... Saskatoon. Oh, down in Saskatoon. Yeah, we come home to have bacon. To, we come home to have, to eat maple syrup. <laughs> From Clark, location, LaSalle. Hi Zach, can you tell me what the most Canadian city is? Saskatoon. That's all the time we have for Ask Zach Anything. Remember, if you want, if you want to ask me a question, please feel free to, feel free to, to send them to my e to my Twitter at BigManBalog25, or or you can write it on the show at rem at late at remotely Zach26. We'll be right back with more remotely Zach because I don't know what else what else to do. So we'll be right back. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, do you guys ever watch stupid videos on the internet? and wonder what it would sound like if it had a headline or what that would be. Well, I'll tell you in a brand new segment called Stupid Headlines, here we go. Now, some of these videos I'm about to show you are from the YouTube channel, Fail Army. So, let's take a look at our first video. Vi All right, look, video one, how stupid do you have to be to do this on a vehicle? Let's take a look. <laughs> Headline, man grounded for eternity. Next video. All right, we have a woman. Oh, it's our favorite doctor, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny from Ohio. Play, play the video, play it, play it. What is it that's actually being transmitted that's causing all of these things? Is it a combination of the protein, which now we're finding has a metal attached to it? I'm sure you've seen the pictures all over the internet of people who've had these shots and now they're magnetized. They can put a key on their forehead, it sticks. They can put spoons and forks all over them and they can stick. Headline, very first robot sighted in Ohio. All right, this one's a little weird. It involves a woman in what appears to be a giant green condom or a dead body. You decide. Right. <laughs> Headline, woman accused of breaking wind on public street. I didn't know that was illegal. Wait, wait, wait was that Dr. Sherry Tenpenny? Can, can we see them side by side again? Stark similarities. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. All right, next up, always remember to put your truck in park when you, well, you know, Park. Driver made a horrifying mistake. Take a look.
Headline, man chases truck down Main Street. We'll be right back with more Remotely Zach right after this, so stick with us, please. Stick with us. We'll be right back. How can you not? I mean, how can you not? It, it's it's ridiculous. It, it, I mean, come on, yeah, put the vehicle in park. All right, that's the time we have. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of today tonight's show. And we hope to see you again next time, same place, same time, next week. And now I'm just going to sit here and think about how this show went with my thoughts as we play out. Good night. Boy, today was an interesting show. I like this format. It seems to be working, working really well. I mean, those headlines, though. Woo! And that monologue, wow. Didn't know there were a lot of freaky-ass people out there. Get nasty to me. Get, getting themselves nasty. It's uh, really, it's really wild. It really is.